Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn March 2024 Energy Tarot Reading. These are general energies, Capricorn. Let's see what's coming in, what messages and what energies are coming in for the month of March 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout and the hear out for the magic word, Capricorn, in this month of March. There will be one free reading up for grabs. For anyone that's interested that's just popping into the channel, I usually offer one free reading every month. And I will give the result, the name of the person for the free reading uh, in my last live of the month. I do lives every Sunday at 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard Time for anyone that is interested. Uh, if you become a member, uh, that automatically gives you access to a free question during the live. All right, Capricorn. March 2024, what energies do we have coming in? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you connect with this reading in some way, I hope it gives you clarity healing, awareness. Whatever answers or energies you're trying to figure out. All right, Capricorn, March 2024. What energies are coming in? The cards are very quiet, beautiful determination pushing forward capricorn you're ready your energy is boosted um i feel like you've restabilized yourself after difficult times or after difficult choices um and now you're re-energized you're ready to conquer the world beautiful yes the Two of Swords being blocked, really um, not open-hearted, not able to make decisions, um, really in a position of, you know, big life decisions. Am I moving? Am I leaving this person? Am I leaving this job? Can I move to that other country? Can I relocate for that job? Uh, do I want to stay with that person? Do what I want to do what I want to move in with this person, right? What is my life path right now? Here with the chariot, you you got this. And not only you got this, but you 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 are now anchored on a stable, healthy foundation. Therefore, you're in control. You're in control of your vision. You're in control of your energy pushing forward. How are you going to make this decision? What decision you're going to make? It's becoming clear, but it's also becoming clear that to push forward, you have to impose a little bit. Sort of get people out of your way. You want that job? Impose. Push. Of course, in a respectful way, but show them who you are you want that person you want to connect with that person open up your heart open up the dialogue right be there uh be present in the moment and that is really going to push you forward you have two complete opposite energies here the chariot imposing rushing forward making your way and really not looking back. And then you have the temperance 
tempo, tempo, take your time, make your choices or your decisions still in a mindful way, in a balanced way. Everything in ba in in balance, everything in a mature, mindful way with the temperance. Temperance is also that good energy coming in, good messages, um, positive messages, right? The good news. I like temperance because it's almost like you've had, maybe it's a revelation, doesn't have to be a revelation, but you've understood to connect with people that resonate with you where it makes sense where you're going to be able to open doors, right? I know it sounds simplistic, but sometimes we push and push and push a narrative, an idea, an energy, a desire, a wish that's just not working out. And I think that's what happened before. And here with patience, moderation, you, you're finding sense to your life. You're finding sense to the people you're you're connecting with, with your job, with your life, with your love, right? This is all of a sudden you're resonating with the right people. Now, it's a slow evolution, right? But it's a constant evolution. So just remain yourself. Remain who you are in this new determined but very mindful energy. Be yourself. Don't let yourself be influenced. That is really these balancing between these two energies, very important energies. Don't let yourself be bullied or influenced by anybody else. You are you, Capricorn. You are important and you are the person that is pushing through, no one else. So here, if people are there with opinions there we are there we have the people right you don't trust or you're done or you don't want to deal with them anymore or you feel like they don't have your back or these can be friends family co-workers it can be any of the above that is why you have these two cards and the two of swords in the middle sort of being guarded because of these people that always have an opinion right you should be more ambitious or you should have stayed with that person. Or maybe it's time you uh, you find another job. Or you're not making enough money. Or why you know why are you not as ambitious as you should? I keep hearing that. You are you, and I think that you understand. And it's almost like you you have a. You're preferring now, or you're going into an energy where you prefer um, an activity or a life, a life path, a soul path, or a career path, or all of the above that's calmer, more serene, instead of the stress and money, 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 and stress, stress, stress. And I think you want something calmer. It feels like you're going to take the time to listen to assimilate temperance and to assimilate what you've discovered, what you're now feeling, what you're now seeing, your new vision here with the chariot so you can push forward. Utilize your um, open up to dialogue, speak, open up, connect, speak your mind. Always in respectful terms, Capricorn, I know that. And Seven of Swords, let them go or let let them go not gender specific right let them go that's okay they don't believe in you they think you should be better or you should make more money or this that the other thing that's okay here you are capricorn right it's it's the it's that tie with that person or that tie with the family or or a work situation Let's see where this is going. Yes, and that has put you in complete hermit mode, right? Having to reconfigurate your life, having to reconfigurate your path. But 
you got this. Your vision is there. You're on the new path. You finally understood what you wanted or what you're building. And here we have the Ace of Wands you're building. It's new, but we have the justice. And justice is that decision that's made that right where there where there's no really if ands or buts right everybody has to comply so whether this is this is your decision or the decision you know that's made from someone else can be um a company, an entity, can be justice itself, can be a family, it can be you, can be anybody. Um, but justice, it can be the universe, really pushing things around and restabilizing everything for you to have balance or the situation have balance. Because the justice appears here when there has to be a choice made or has to be a decision made or the situation is imbalanced, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a job, whether it's in life, it's just not working. And it's hard to push forward in quicksand, right? And so here, the justice is appearing to say, there we go. And that you, this situation, this energy is not going to remain like that. You're going to get your answer. Or the decision is going to be made. Or the decision is going to be made for you. Or you're making your own decision. And you are finding your path with the hermit. And here we have the ace of wands. So there is the new building. The start of a new relationship. The start of a new job. The start of a new project. Of a new life path. One two, three, four, five major arcana. Leaving that behind, Capricorn. Letting go that person, letting go that dynamic, that work dynamic, that relationship dynamic, that family dynamic, that whatever it is, or even if it's you, between you and yourself, in your mind, looking for serenity, looking for calmness, because you wanna get out of that tug of war, not enough, not enough money, not enough um, ambition, not enough love, whatever it means for you. It will be different for everyone, right? And so I think you've understood here with the hermit that you're the one with the answers, right? But it's also finally understanding, finally finding clarity within, within and out, right? Because it's the research, the profound research and the work you've done on yourself to take the time to find solutions, to take the time to um, see what you're made of and how you can transform and how you can bring solutions and an evolution to your path, grow, mature. And here, it's really the reach of that goal, right? You've reached destination here after long, long reflection with the hermit, with more experience, with more and and a lot of tenacity and perseverance you're now on that path on the new path whatever it is you want to build with the ace of wands right whether it's building a family let's see where this is going yeah stubbornness stubbornness capricorn and page of wands beautiful so this is the new energy. It can be an Aries Leo Sag, someone younger with whom you're, you feel there's sort of that tug of war, that toxic energy or that, you know, it can be a family member. It can be a child. It can be a teenager. It can be a younger person within your job, within your family, with whom you feel, you know, that, that constant antagonation, antagonation, 
antagonizing, sorry. Um, and, and so with the Four of Pentacles, you're standing your ground. You're keeping your money. You're keeping your budget safe. You want to keep that money to develop or to grow or to build this new path, whether it's a family, whether it's a job, whether it's a career, whether it's your life that you want to move to that other place, to that other, right, whether place, whether it's in your mind or, or, um, or another city or another country, it feels like you're, you're building, but you still have the narrative of this person here. All right, let's see. Am I pulling another? Okay. Apparently I'm pulling another card in this deck. Uh, yeah, justice, very important here. Major, major decision here, but major decision to unblock the situation and finally, finally uh, open up these opportunities or, or just feeling the connection with others because I feel like you've been closed off for a while from others. Yes, the moon, confusion, waiting for answers, disillusions, right? That the moon is all about, yes, okay, so maybe this is a relationship, doesn't have to be, but it feels like that tug of war with that person, page of wands, mm, I'm thinking, I don't know if, let, let me pull one more, okay, I'll, let me use the other deck, because I feel like this page of wands, at the same time, it feels like that it's that person that has been antagonizing, that has been getting under your skin, you know, uh, but at the same time, the Page of Wands is a refreshed, new, enthusiastic, right, inspiring energy um, for the future to build, uh, inspired to create, to do things, right, or to start a new relationship. Ace of Cups. It's very emotional. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups and the Devil, which tells me that there is <coughs> a passionate energy here with a person or a situation and um i feel like you're moving on to something completely new now is this the new ace of cups why is the ace of cups here why is the ace of cups in this in this um relationship and and it can be it seems like a relationship a romantic relationship, but it can also involve family, involve other people. But I feel like, okay, there we go. Nine of Cups. The Star. Two of Pentacles. There's that choice again, figuring things out. Okay, and there we have the Temperance and the Death card. So you have two times the Death card. Uh, which tells me there's a complete new beginning, complete new beginning. And I think you have been um, lured um, in a relationship or lured in um, something in an energy um, from a person maybe, right? A relationship or, again, it can be family, doesn't have to be love. Um, a romantic relationship but it sure does feel like that and that you're starting from scratch but it almost feels like you're starting from scratch with the same person because or it's you because you have two times the death card so you're finally leaving something behind finally leaving that person those emotions um that that may be codependency uh, someone dominating or someone sort of wanting you to do things in a, in a specific way, right? Very dominant energy. I feel like you're really leaving that behind. But I'm, and, and you're finally with this Ace of Cups. I mean, you have two times a death card, two aces, this justice, massive, massive decision here and moving on. So whether this is massive decision on a relationship, leaving, but you're rebuilding something, right? Right behind, you have something with these two aces. So massive decision to leave everything behind, whether it be, again, a relationship, uh, a family dynamic, 
Yes, which whom you don't trust. Again, the Seven of Swords, these are people that, that disappointed you, people or a person or people that, you know, took you for granted and you really felt like you had to pick up their slack or you had to figure things out for them when they weren't there for you. Ah, okay, so you were there for them and they weren't there for you when you needed them, something like that. Yes, the equal give and take. You felt you sacrificed yourself, right? And to the point where, okay, enough, enough is enough. And your desire here, uh, your dream, your desire with the, with the star card is really to move into something more stable. So something, it's really the calm after the storm with the star card. And maybe going back to sources, maybe going back to your hometown or wanting to move back to closer to family or closer to a source that is close to your heart, to a person, to a job, to a life, something that means a lot to you. Back to nature, maybe you want to go back to nature, move somewhere, you know, more nature in, with a nature environment, something that is essential for you at the, at your core belief. With all this, with the hermit and everything you're leaving behind, I think now you're choosing to move into a calmer space. And that is going to make you blossom. That is going to reconnect you with the world. And I feel like you're protecting your peace. You're protecting your love you're you're protecting almost your intimacy intimacy so so if you are meeting another person a younger person because this is the only person we have here the ace the page of wands so i'm saying i'm thinking you're meeting a younger person um or if you're not meeting anybody this can be uh someone close to you family but it feels like a, it feels like a romantic relationship, but something that's giving you inspiration again, creativity again. It feels like you're moving into a space with that person or connecting to love, and that is giving you inspiration again. Yes, love gives a lot of inspiration and you feel protected. You feel peaceful. And I, you feel also that this is your future, your life, your career, and you feel like you're protected long term within this new path. It's really in harmony with others, serene energies. And it's, it's finding a peaceful energy in, in a professional realm and a peaceful energy in, in, in an emotional realm, love, uh, love for others. Uh, connecting emotionally and I feel like you were closed off for a long time uh, Capricorn wow very very <coughs> beautiful reading uh, Capricorn really really beautiful reading all right let's see let's see if there's one last message for the road five of cups knight of wands fun oh page of wands knight of wands okay now this can be an aries leo sag with him with whom you're connecting high priestess yes it's all about in you're all you're following your emotions you're following your intuition this is all inside you have left you have kept everything inside for such a long time capricorn you haven't revealed yourself in a very long time you're not the only sign like this, but a lot of people are now understanding that it's it's now or never, right? We only have one life. And if we want to enjoy that person, say it. If we want to change careers, do it. If we want to move, if we want to move closer to our family or move away from our family or find that new soulful place that we so want to belong to or soulful community, do it. Do it. 
Is it easy? No. Is it always the right timing? No. Do we need finances, logistics, and figure things out? Yes. I never say things like this, you know, out in the open where it's going to come in a click of a finger. No. But if we want it, we have to put it out there. And I think that you have reached your peaceful p place here. So, Page of Wands... Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. Wow, if that's not an Aries Leo Sag here, fire sign, fire sign, fire sign. The lovers, yeah. It's all about love. But it's also it's also about personal love too. Love for yourself. There's love for that person. And maybe the love for that person. And again, it can be a friend. It can be. It doesn't have to be a relationship, although it feels like that. But it feels like really like a soulful relationship. So again, it can be a friend or it can be a someone around you that's really inspiring you and giving you a peaceful energy. And now this calming you so you can really connect to this new life and connect to this new place or connect to your new desires. There you are again. Nine of Swords. Yes, you're getting out of that, though. That stress, you know, where am I? What am I doing? And Knight of Cups. Yes, this is confirming. Um, this is confirming this, this new love coming in. Now, again, um, it feels authentic with the Lover's card. And it feels like you're clear. Now you can connect with others. You can open your heart. And you really have a pure heart. And you now can recognize those energies and open up to that soul person or open up to, you know, these beautiful new energies. And I think that now you're, you can articulate what you really stand for and who you are. And you're so in touch with your inner feelings, with your emotions that you probably weren't before. And, and so you can share those feelings and those emotions. Your heart is open it's it's really really a beautiful sense of um connection soul connection love connection and it feels like you can share these emotions with others or with this person without reservations this person has opened up your heart or is going to open up your heart but because you believe in this person at your core you know you in your core this person is for you. And again, it can be a love relationship, but can it also be a person you just really connect with? And that that really is by your side in this journey, this emotional journey of opening up, opening up your, your emotions, opening up your heart. And now you're ready to establish really what is essential for you. Time to go into the world, Capricorn. Time to go into the world. This is your time. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your journeys, for sharing your energies and supporting this channel. I want to say that the magic word is love or opening my heart. Whatever works for you, whatever you connect with, love, <coughs> opening up your heart. <coughs> Have a great month. Take care, Capricorn.